Hi, my name is Aviola Helliger and I have lupus. I was disabled by my lupus in 23. It was my fifth flare and um, that's what it's called. And uh, it, sort of, it was where my nerves and my muscles in my feet, ankles and toes just sort of decided that they didn't belong and um, it put me in a wheelchair for quite some time, um, really about three years. Um, I, the, the lupus flare happened in Shanghai, China, and I had to be medevaced back to the United States um, immediately for care and treatment uh, back in uh, June or July of 2013. Um, it was a very long road to recovery, and part of that recovery involved just finding my way back to uh, my career because I needed to be able to work and earn money um, to be able to pay my bills. But one of the other things that people really don't talk about a whole lot with lupus is how it affects your mind. The people with lupus experience something called lupus fog or brain fog, where it affects your sense, your, it causes a little bit of confusion, it affects your, uh, a little bit of your memory. And I didn't feel confident that I was going to be able to do work for anybody ever again. I didn't feel like anyone should trust me because, you know, I was on a lot of meds and then I was having this lupus fog and so I was very worried about what work would look like. So I, um, I thought I needed some help. I was experiencing anxiety, depression, all kinds of things and when I reached out, somehow I landed on Independence Now's uh, doorstep and I, uh, in 2014. And from that time, I started working with Rochelle Harrod and Denise Sosby. Um, Denise Sosby is the employment coordinator or job coach here at Independence Now. And uh, she just uh, is just phenomenal. She helped me to look at my resume, identify strengths in my resume, and identify what weaknesses, help me to completely rework it. Um, but that wasn't the most important thing Denise did. Denise really gave me the confidence as a person with disabilities to be able to be unafraid of embracing my disabilities and, and, and look more closely at um, what I focus more on what I could do and not instead of what I couldn't do or could no longer do. And um, she would frequently send me job notices and I'd kind of be like, well, okay, but I don't think this is, I don't really think I'm ready. I don't think, I think this is way too much responsibility. I need something much, much simpler. You know, if I could just answer the phone or something like that, you know, maybe that's the best that I can do right now. But she continued to have confidence in me. She sent me a notice and then the job was for housing specialist here at Independence Now. So uh, she practically dragged me in here, but I came to do the interview an hour before I sat in her office right here at Independence Now and cried like a baby. She gave me a hug, told me I could do it, and told me, don't worry about everything else, just be you. And so that's what I did. I walked into an interview with the executive director and intimate and living services director for the interview, and I, all I did was just try to be myself, focusing on my experiences as a person with disabilities. And a couple days later, so shock and awe, um, Independence Now hired me on. And I could not be more grateful to be serving three years later, um, from 2017 to now, um, be able to serve other people with disabilities. I'm so grateful to Independence Now. Thank you.